We are back here on Girl Talk, and I am with Dr. Diana Lennick, who has recently joined Dr. Bonnie Rothwell's dentistry practice. They have a beautiful office here at Hospital Center Common, and it is great to sit with you. And it's been about a year. It has. Since you've come to the Low Country, you've it has. joined Dr. Rothwell. And you have such an impressive resume. And let's talk about your credentials and your background. Oh, thanks. I've been a dentist for over 30 years, um, originally practicing in Charleston, West Virginia. Um, moved here a year ago to join Bonnie, like you said. Um, Bonnie and I have both studied a lot. We are kind of continuing education junkies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a LD Pankey Institute scholar and um, a, an American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry accredited member. Um, meaning that we have passed a certification. Um, As is Dr. Rothwell. Yes, we both so, have. I mean, that, that is high. It is. It, it uh, took a lot of time. There. It was a five-year process. Wow. Um, it's an anonymous process, so everything that was presented, they don't know whose it is. Um, and I think that gives it an extra level. Mm -hmm. um, there's no favoritism. And um, we both kind of did it about the same time. Um, it was challenging, but it, it, and all of those things make you a better dentist. And what a great team you make. Uh, we I do. Th I think you collaborate so well on the various patients' mm -hmm. troubles, when they come in and they have an issue, and you're able to collaborate together. I it's mean, really nice to have that. Absolutely. Because you look at things a little differently. Um, Bonnie has a very critical eye. Um, our personalities are different, so we approach things a little bit differently, but the blend of our two personalities is really it's fun. It's a great match. Yeah, it really is. Talk us through the process, because if someone is not too pleased with their smile, you're going to help them work through the process to get them to where they, you've given them something to smile about. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, a pretty smile is, is really a great asset. Um, some of the things that you look at, you're not just looking at, you're looking at teeth, you're looking at teeth position, you're looking at teeth length. Um, and the length in reference to the lip. Um, in, a, in a full smile and lip at rest, you're looking at tissue height, whether, you know, sometimes the tissue on one tooth is higher than another. Um, the canines and central incisors should be at the same tissue height. The lateral incisors should be a little bit lower. Um, so those are things you look at to create um, a really nice look. And then really, there are two main is it, I don't want to say treatments, but with, with the bonding and the veneers, two approaches, is if that's the, the appropriate verbiage, in transforming someone's smile. And, and you've got a couple examples here of bonding and veneers that, that we can see, and it's really pretty dramatic with these results. Oh, the results you can get both, with both methods are, are really excellent. Methods. The I knew there would be. <laughs> that's why you're the smarty pants now. <laughs> The trend in dentistry now is less tooth reduction. So not removing a lot of tooth structure in order to fix a problem. Um, and preserving what you're born with as much as we can for reasons of strength and for the future. Our, bond, our ability to bond right now is so phenomenal, but what are we going to have in 20 years? If you've already taken tooth structure away, you know, to do a crown, you're stuck. It's right. already gone. Right. If you don't take it away in 20 years from now, we have a whole other method that's fab more fabulous than what we have now, then um, you've lost that treatment option right. in the future. So that's nice. It's really not as invasive it's not. as it had been in the past. Correct. And I'm telling you, the, the results are beautiful, very, very natural. I mean, sometimes you do see people with mm -hmm. kind of unnatural looking smiles and um, maybe a little bit the size might be a little bit too bulky or Thank too you. long. Bulky, that's another good word. Yeah, and, and bulky is probably a bigger issue than, than length. I mean, you, know, you really, you're not going to go really, really, really long, you know, so right. that doesn't happen very often, but thickness is, is a big issue. Right. Um, as so far let's, as aesthetics. Let's talk. Do you want to start over, over here or with this, one of it these? It doesn't really matter. Um, um, it's just the method is different. This, so talk through this. This it looks like a, a nice transformation, but not anything. It doesn't look like she had too much of an issue to, to begin with? Not too much. She's, this is a young person, um, so the, the option that was chosen is bonding. Okay. Um, bonding is um, a, a totally reversible process where um, you take tooth colored like Silly Putty and blend different colors and with tints and opaquers um, to create um, the final product. It's more time intensive for the dentist 
Okay. And um, maybe a little more um, skill needed for the dentist because um, you're not using a laboratory technician to create porcelain. Um, the, uh, it, it, the results you can get are identical. Yeah, it um, really looks at least If you really have beautiful. the right skill level. Yeah. And that's the key. Skill. And that's, it is. And I'm telling that's you, isn't it the only dentist in the, in, it's in the county who the accredited we members? We are. Yes, And we are. that's really important to note, too. I think we had that on the screen before, but I just do want to make mention of that because, again, yeah, you're only, not going to find that level of skill um, everywhere in, there's in our only, area. There's uh, only like three or 400 in the world. There you go. So this is a little bit more of a dramatic transformation. We've got um, the gap in the front teeth. Yes. And so talk us through so what was done here. Again with bonding, and actually the four center teeth were, were bonded. Um, a little bit of length and a little bit of bulk on the lateral incisors, the, the um, middle teeth in the front. And of course, closing the space um, between the two central incisors. It's it, beautiful results. And then veneers. There's an example here. We're going to show it on screen. The key with veneers in, in this day and time is that they can be done without tooth reduction. Um, when veneers first came out years ago, there was a, a good amount of tooth reduction done. Yeah, you were saying um, previously they really were yeah, grinding the teeth we down. We really did a lot of, yeah, a lot of um, removal of tooth structure. And we don't have to do that anymore. You can still get this, the same result. With essentially, it's like an acrylic nail bonded on, hmm. on top. That's there you go. That gives us a, a good, good analogy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, they're very thin. Um, in this particular case, some of the teeth were very prominent in the in the arch. So we used Invisalign um, orthodontics to move the teeth back before we used an additive technique. Otherwise, we would have had to remove a lot of tooth. Okay. All right. So there are just so many options. These are just a few great examples. And I'll tell you, you all just do a beautiful job. Thanks. And the it's not only the expertise and knowing that you're coming in to, uh, to a place that's really going to transform your smile. You just can have total confidence in that. But the environment here is very warm, inviting, and comfortable. So that's really important as well, that when you come in, you really do feel comfortable in the space well, and thanks. also with both Dr. Lennick and Dr. Rothwell. Thank so, you. Thank you so much. And thank you all thank for you tuning then. in to this episode of Girl Talk. I'm Debbie Court. We'll see you next time.